Okay, in this presentation, what we're going to do is look at faceting. Okay, so I'm going to just sort of work with a particular data set. It comes inbuilt with the ggplot package called diamonds. Okay, now faceting is, you might have heard the word multifaceted. I'll just write that down in case the English is not your um, first language. Uh, multifaceted, so you can look at, look at it there. Uh, so it just actually facets m multiple faces, okay, and faceting is just to sort of break it up. I won't get too much more into it. It's uh, multifaceted, okay. So what we're going to do here is just to sort of start off, what we might do is a histogram of, let's say, depth, the fifth variable here. And just to sort of, we're going to ha have a histogram of that, let's say depth, okay. And we're going to use cut and color, the second and third uh, variables, as grouping variables, categorical variables, okay? Now, just what I'm going to do here is just to make this uh, data set a little bit easier to work with, uh, what I'm going to do is subset it a bit, okay? So there's 54,000 cases, okay? So it's a nice big data set, but it's actually so big it might be hard to visualize. So what I'm going to do here is sample one to n row uh, that's number of rows uh, i'm going to sample pick out let's say 1000 cases okay so uh index indices okay so let's just give you sort of a head uh, a sense of what indices are and I'll just pick out the first 20. It's just we're going to essentially subset it, uh, randomly select uh, uh, 1,000 cases, just to sort of like, you know, uh, rather than working with all 53,000, we'll just work with um, 1,000. I might ramp it up to 2,000. Let's, let's go a bit crazy there. So anyway, that's just the general idea. So I've picked out randomly selected 2,000 cases. So diamonds... 2 is diamonds um, indexes, indices. Okay, so I just subsetted it there. It's a very simplistic way of subsetting. Uh, another way, actually, is I'm not going to do it here, but if you're familiar with the, the dplyr package, what you could do there uh, is sample frac or something like that, or sample n, okay? which is also another way of doing it. I'm not going to get too much into dplyr here. I don't want to make, make, mix, mix them up too much, but definitely have a look at that another time, okay? And see, you know, you could have just sort of, I could have, if that was short enough, I could have made it shorter even still. Anyway, so what we have here, that's now, is control L, uh, dim diamonds, let's just see how much we have. That's grand, 2,000K, okay, perfect, okay. Tail, diamonds, just to make sure we have it all set up. Um, actually, that's just a sort of, you might not realize this, but the sort of being able to sort of uh, get a nice big subsample is actually quite a good uh, uh, way of uh, working with um, la like large amounts of data and being able to visualize them. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is ggplot data equals diamonds2 and let's just go for something very simple uh, histograms okay uh, so that's our sort of bit, uh, starting point this is our basic object and I'm going to call it P okay uh, I need another bracket there we go so P, let's just have a look at P. Well, actually, nothing will come up, but. Oops. So, uh, P uh, plus geom histogram. There we go. Uh, what I'm going to do is update it a little bit. No, actually, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We'll do it just good for now. So, this is the um, histogram of depth, okay? Uh, for all 2,000 cases uh, that we have in our Diamonds 2 data set, okay? So far, so good. Now, what we can do here is with faceting is that we can actually look at it, all the individual categories, okay? 
So I'm going to go with bin. No, I'm just going to leave it alone. I'll just leave that. Ignore that little. Um, you can sort of specify other things there, but I have another video on histograms that you can look at there. So I'm going to update P permanently to be always that sort of little histogram. Okay. Now, so P. So the thing about what we're going to do now is that we have uh, two other. We have. Let's go to uh, summary of diamonds too and I'll just show you exactly what I mean that we have two categorical variables here uh, cut and color okay so what we want to do is have a breakdown of our histogram by cut and color now really it's this 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 idea of that we can break down our visualizations is the, the, the key thing we're trying to do here so it's uh, what I could do here first off is first off a uh, facet wrap okay so p plus facet wrap and the variable we're going to wrap by let's say is color now cut now again that 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 comes up there that little error but what we have here is we have the breakdown of our histogram by all the various uh, so we have a histogram for each of our uh, types of cut okay and so the ideal we have a separate hi histogram for ideal uh, a separate histogram for good so on you get the idea there so we've just sort of split our histogram essentially into five sub histograms uh, and importantly here is it's just to sort of uh, uh, specify is that they have the same they're based on the same dimensions here the same axes okay S uh, 60 to 65 okay they're sort of centered there now the idea of a wrap is like it's sort of like a ribbon or a ticker that we have the first three here and then the second two here so they're like the first three and the last two with a you know so there's just a sort of as if you're reading a book a sentence okay so that's a wrap there's no sort of structuring there so the second thing is that's wrap you can do it for the other ones as well but we leave it there so you can have a facet grid okay now so we're going to be a bit more structured here okay so the general sort of structure is like this something by something okay so uh, cut by oops Dot. So here, what we have is where's it gone? I think I just slightly messed something up there. I'll just check. I have it okay. Is that there we go? And uh, what we done there? This is not. I'm not really happy about this, but it works. So it looks okay. Is that we have a sort of grid like or each one uh, aligned along the rows? Okay which essentially that's what we've done there so essentially what we've done here is we've aligned cut along the rows and nothing along the columns now it doesn't really work great here but it, it not the point so uh, cut by dot means just we put cut along the rows and that's it we can actually do the opposite put cut along the columns so so that dot there is just a placeholder uh, the tilde there, the wiggly line is just, you know, there we have there. It's gonna, you know, it's a little bit makes more sense there actually. Okay, so the the stacking one histogram one on top of the other is not great. Uh, stacking histograms side by side is actually probably better in the long run. So if you just had one variable and you wanted to sort of compare them, you probably would go have them side by side. So to have it would be better done the second way. So what the thing you could do here is is it I just have to remember the name here. Um names of uh diamonds. I think it's color, but yeah, color with so what I can do here is have a color by cut. Okay, so facet grid. So we're gonna sort of uh, break it up into, just give it a second there, it just needs a, there we are. Now, the thing about it is there's just probably two, I picked out two variable, uh, two categorical variables that have just have too many subclasses, okay? Seven is probably, there's sort of seven different types of uh, cut, which is probably just a bit too many. 
uh, or color or uh, so but anyway it's essentially histogram uh, of each sort of uh, component so each combination of cut and color we get the histogram uh, and so on so that is faceting essentially okay so breaking up your histograms into s multiple components so you can see them side by side so color by cut okay so facet underscore grid and then the two categorical variables color and cut done job done all right that is faceting and it's a very important lesson at learning outcome with ggplot faceting